Commander Legends 2, Dungeons & Dragons Battle for Boulder's Gate. Not the most anticipated set, however, we do have a collector booster box to open up today, and it's going out to the patrons. Use code MATCASTER for 5% off your order from Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada-wide. Use our code anytime you shop at Face to Face Games to support the show and get the cards you need at a discount. Welcome back to my channel. I am Matt Caster Mage, and I do make Magic the Gathering content every day here on YouTube. So if you do enjoy my work, please consider subscribing to my channel and joining in on all the fun we have here. Fresh, fresh case of... Commander Legends was cracked open just for me. I literally got the first box that the store opened up and delivered to its customers. Very, very fun, very exciting. Hopefully that's good luck. Or, you know, sometimes they say worst is first. So if that's the case, then maybe my luck won't be as good. But anyways, let's crack open this Commander Legends Boulder's Gate collector booster box here and see, it's actually nice. I hope you guys have good luck with your packs here. I didn't have too much interest in this set and um, not a surprise, especially after the spoilers came out. So we have all the people here who are getting the packs. So Denise gets one pack. Marty from Marty's Gathering Place on YouTube gets two, one, two there for you. Jacob Feldman with two packs as well. There it is, one, two. Olivia with one pack, one right there. We got Brent with two, okay, so two packs here. And then we've got Chris Jones, if I can crack it open properly. You get two, my man. And then we have Jake Johnson with one and Justin Hamilton with the last pack. Okay, okay, I'm nervous for you guys, I won't lie. This set hasn't been looking too good yet. Yeah, but we'll start off here with Denise. Good luck, Denise. I hope you have good luck with the set. Uh, my God, they're just as hard to open up as the Yucapena packs. Okay, so let's see what we get here. Carnelian Orb of Dragonkind, Great Sword of Tear, Contact Other Plane, Patriar's Seal, Noble's Purse. We got a Force there with the text, just like the original Dungeons & Dragons set. Goggles of Night. Nice alternate art there, Scion of Halaster. And then we've got our first legendary creature. Okay. Uh, I mean, is it, it doesn't really look itch, etched to me at all. I was like, itched, <laughs> it's itchy. Um, okay, wow, okay. So we got a dragon to start things off, Wrathful Red Dragon. Not too bad. And then we've got a, what, Alfshini. Okay, Nalfshini. Interesting looking card. White Plume Adventurer. Ooh, there we go. Ball, Lord of Murder. Nice legendary creature god there. Very nice, yep. This one looks a lot more etched than the last one did. Not a lot of texture on the card. Ooh, Ancient Bronze Dragon. Okay, you got one of the Elder Dragons. Not a bad first pack. Congrats, so we have uh, one Mythic so far. Then we get the uh, Council of the Four. You have my bow and my sword. I can think of Lord of the Rings when I see this card. Then we got our Volo's Journal, Legendary Artifact Token. Okay, not a bad pack, Denise. I gotta say, you did get an Elder Dragon. That was pretty sweet. That was pretty sweet. I mean, I think that's one of the best cards you can get are the, any of the Elder Dragons and also um, the lands, I suppose, are good too. Marty, with your two packs, we're gonna start things off here for you. Good luck. Check out his channel as well on YouTube, Marty's The Gathering Place. Okay, let's get straight to the first rare here. Um, doo -doo -doo. Nice. This is like the first card that was spoiled for this set. Nine figures keen. And then we get a Brain Stealer Dragon. Boulder's Gate. There you go. The card the set was named after. Noble Heritage, which is also actually technically it's uh, it was a video game. It's also Dungeons and Dragons related property. Noble Heritage. Nice uh, card there. And then we get a Nine Fingers Keen. Double. Why not get another one of these? Nine Fingers Keen. And we've got an Owlbear Club. I love the artwork on that one. Okay. Not the best first pack, I have to say, Marty. They did get Boulder's Gate. I mean, that's an interesting card. I actually want a Boulder's Gate. Uh, I'm gonna try to add it to a deck, commander deck with Mesa's End, and obviously all the all the gate cards you can get. Try to win that way. A little janky, of course, but it's fun. If you can pull it off. Speaking of pulling it off, my God, this pack is hard to pull open. Okay. All right. Let's 
go straight to the first rare, which is El Turl Survivors, okay. Uh, bothersome Quasit, Windshaper Planeter, Alondro, Alondo the Seer, okay, God, Duke Alder Raven Guard with a Nira Wild Mage. Okay. So unfortunately, Marty, no mythics for you there. Uh, that was a bit unfortunate. But hopefully some of these cards actually go up in value. You know, the set, it is pre-release, so anything could really happen at price values on these. Okay, Jacob Feldman with your first pack here. Good luck to you as well. My God, these packs. Oh my God. Uh, okay, let's see. Ooh, you got Manifold Key, that's pretty cool. And you've got your first, ooh, I saw that though. Basilisk Caller, very, very nice. This is obviously a reprint. Uh, what was the original one? I, I think, what was it Innistrad? It was around that block, I believe. And then we get a Grell Philosopher, Tomb of Horrors Adventure with a Jahira, Friend of the Forests, with a Zelvlor El Turul Exile, and no Mythic, it is a Mirror of Life Trapping. My God, only one Mythic so far? That seems off for the collector boxes. You are juiced with mythics. Not, uh, not so much though. Not so much here. Okay, Jacob, your second pack. Hopefully, your second pack is better than your first. Maybe we'll get a dual land. We still haven't seen a dual land yet. That's that's a bit shocking. Okay, I'm about to, about to have a pack attack here. Okay, so we got. Okay, Furbolg Flutalist. Plutus. I mean, Astral Dragon, another dragon, but not the mythic one. Mirror of Life Tapping, uh, we just saw you there trapping. A uh, popular en entertainer, <laughs> Lazo Vlakith's Champion, Mighty Servant of Luko. Luko, okay, and that was it. Yeah, I gotta say, these feel very underwhelming so far. Like, um, yeah, I don't know, they just feel weird. These... Yeah, I feel like it was supposed to be just a continuation of you know, the D&D &D set, and then I'm like, you know what, just slap the name Commander Legends on it, and then we'll put the prices up. Yeah, kind of feels like that, I won't lie, guys. Kind of feels like that, okay. I mean, it is stronger, I think, power level-wise than the original D&D &D set, but I don't know. Okay, so we got Raised by Giants. We have Seasoned Dungeoneer. There we go, second Mythic, Pack Weapon. With an Asterion, the Decadence, Volo, and an Elder Brain. But you also get this as a box stopper, so really, who cares, right? Who cares? But you did get a Mythic there. Not too bad. Not too bad. Congratulations, Olivia. Okay. You got the second Mythic. And we're like halfway through this, and we already... We only have two Mythics. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, Brent. This is actually my brother who got this. Two packs, because there's two left over and i'm like did you want to just buy these packs or whatever and he's like yeah whatever i'm like okay <laughs> yeah not a lot of interest on patreon for uh oh there you go lightning bolt that's pretty cool um for these unfortunately uh but next set uh dungeons and i mean uh, double masters will probably have a lot more interest on my patreon for box openings for that so please check out my patreon if you want to be a part of that um probably gonna be well i already put some pre-orders in but you know Whatever's available, I'll be uh, selling to the patrons. Duke Alder Raven Guard. We got a spectacular sh uh, slow. I was gonna say slow down showdown. God, I gotta slow down. Ravenloft Adventurer. And then we do get one of the etched foils. This is Bane, Lord of Darkness, legendary creature god. He's just he's just a god. And then we get a Jan Jansen Chaos Crafter with a Horn of Valhalla. That's pretty cool. All right, next pack. Let's see what we get. Okay. All right, let's see. And we've got a mighty servant of Luko. We got a, there. We go. We got another mythic. Third mythic. A haunted one. Sculpted sunburst, and then another mythic. Karlak, future uh, fury of Avernus. Love the artwork there. Reminds me of uh, Tybalt a little bit. Then we get a Shadowheart, Dark Justicer, and a Gale, Waterdeep, Prodigy. Okay, so now we've got four Mythics. Two Mythics for that. That was insane. Okay. All right. Two Mythics there. I won't lie. That was uh, not expecting that. We, we haven't seen any double Mythic packs yet. Chris Jones, maybe you'll be the next for the double Mythics. 
Okay, good luck. Good luck, you're gonna need it with this set. I can feel it. Okay, let's see. All right, it's a Ithithid, Ilithid Harvester. Oh, there you go, we got a Mythic Folk Hero. Okay, fifth Mythic in the box. Owl Club Cub, and then we get a Raphael Fiendish Savior. Alundo the Seer. We still haven't seen one of the dual lands. Holy crap. Windshaper Planetar with a knight. Yeah, and that was probably one of the one of the only reasons to be getting this set was was dual lands. It does not seem like I feel like with most collector boxes you get at least two to three per box for the, the land cycle there, right? So kind of shocking. Alright, Chris. Next pack for you. Okay. Displacer Kitten. Journey to Lost City, Ascend from Avernus, and then we've got <laughs> Regadagra, uh, Gorgut's Boss, my god. Okay, oh, there you go. Nice, this is our first full art mythic. Bramble Sovereign, all right, sixth mythic in this box. Very, very cool. I love the artwork on here. Holy cow. Yeah, that is gorgeous. That would be great in foil. Too bad it wasn't foil. And another Displacer Kitten. That's the extended art one. Okay, Chris, I gotta say, you did pretty good, considering, you know, Commander Legends 2 and all. That was pretty good. So we got six mythics so far. We have two more packs to go. Can we end with eight mythics? That would actually be really good compared to the other boxes that I've seen opened online, which were, yeah, you don't see a lot of mythics in this, these collector boxes. Okay, Jake Johnson, here we go. Maybe we'll see a dual land. I hope so. I hope so. Okay. All right, you got a Gorian Wise Mentor, Black Market Connections with a reflecting pool. Dang. Okay, very nice, Jake. One of the better pulls in this set for sure. Nice reprint. And then I get a Will Blade of Frontiers with a Merkel Lord of Bones and a Gorian Wise Mentor with a Devil Token. Okay, Jake, not too bad at all. Uh, that reflecting pool kind of saved that pack. Still no mythics though. We are on the hunt for our seventh mythic. Can Justin Hamilton pull it? Seven mythics would actually be pretty good for the pull ratio for this set. Okay, got a Mind Stone in there too. Oh, there we go, seven Mythics, Blood Money. Okay, I called it right there. Destroy all creatures. For each non-token creature destroyed this way, you create a tapped treasure token, very nice. That could be definitely busted in Commander. Mocking, Doppelganger with a Jahira's Respite, Shadowheart, Dark Justicer, and we got another, myth eight Mythics, Battle Angels of Tyr. Of Tyre or Tyr, how would you guys say that? My God, another Borderless Mythic there. We did get eight Mythics, that is, really good for this set trust me go watch the other box openings on youtube it's uh yeah you don't get a lot of mythics here very very nice and then we get ascend from avernus is our last so eight mythics got two in the last pack congratulations justin you killed it with that two mythics in one pack i think that was only done twice right in this box opening anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this and i'm gonna be getting these shipped out as soon as i can and congratulations to all the people who've done well and to the people who haven't really done well at least there's double masters coming out soon. Maybe you can test your luck there that time. Okay, see you in the next video.